Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and today a tech video for you tech guys because I've had a lot of requests over the last few months. Peter, please do more tech videos. I loved your tech stuff. And uh, sorry guys about uh, all the North Korean. Okay, you just wanna jump into the show here. I'd like to introduce uh, my new kitty. This is Reba and uh, she really likes to get involved in the action here. Sadly, my, my previous cat, Gideon, who was featured in some of my videos, he passed away back in September. He was 14 and, uh, you know, he lived a good life, but it was sad to see him go. And Reba is the same breed. She's a Bramilla and uh, from the same breeder. <laughs> and she wants to be the center of attention here. Reba, Reba, come on, I'm doing a video here. Oh, Reba, come on. <laughs> Reba, you're screwing up the video. Look what you did. You changed the page. Okay, we gotta stop and try it. You gotta do this over again. Take two. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. And now Reba's down on the floor here. We can hopefully get to business here. Anyways, I'm gonna be covering something called MQTT today. And uh, a lot of you probably got, uh, you know, a Mesh-tastic radio for Christmas. And you're hooking it up and you're not picking up anybody because you're just there's nobody around your neighborhood maybe who knows but there's a feature built into all meshtastic radios called mqtt that allows you to connect your meshtastic radio to the internet and there are servers out there and the one i'm going to be connecting to today is called the canada verse canada verse yeah and uh, it is a cross canada network However, anybody could connect to it. You don't have to be in Canada to connect to this, but um, I'm going to be doing the Canadian Canadaverse network today. I'm going to show you guys how to hook up to it. It's actually quite simple. It's a few settings in, uh, in, the, in the settings menu on your Meshtastic radio. And uh, we will be able to converse with people all over Canada or whoever is on the Canadaverse network which is really kind of cool. And it really reminds me of when I was a kid back in the 70s and I had a CB radio and you could get on there and just talk to anybody. And uh, it was always it was always fun. You know, you didn't know who you're going to talk to. So many people were out there. So many people were on, on CB radios in the day. And it's kind of the same thing here, but it's uh, a modern day text message service and, and it's free. So here we go, guys. So let's dive into this right now. Okay, here we are at the Meshtastic Canadaverse uh, Wiki. I will post this link in the description. And uh, here's where you get the information on how to connect to by MQTT to the Canadaverse Mesh Network. And uh, First of all, it says use the flasher like I already did and flash your device with the latest firmware. And uh, what I recommend, uh, they have down here the more in-depth manual. This one covers absolutely all the settings that, so there's no confusion, uh, you know, when you log into your, into your device through the radio settings. Uh, you know, enable the long fast, the uplink, the downlink. It shows uh, you can enable the GPS position um, if your device supports it. Helltech doesn't natively support GPS. Uh, however, you can connect a GPS radio to it. Um, it will, however, give your exact location. That's up to you if you want to do that. Uh, device configuration down here, a few different things. We cover now the network. This is more the uh, set, setting that up with your Wi-Fi name and password and uh, the lower radio config. Um, for us, ensure you're connected. If you're in Canada, the U.S., uh, set it to the U.S. And uh, down here, the MQTT config, this is critical here. The server name, uh, username, and the password, large for cats and a few of the other parameters that need to be set. And that's basically it, guys. Um, that's all you need to do. Okay, guys, so what I'm showing you here, and I will post this link in the description too. This is the actual MQTT server for Canadaverse. And uh, 
The main reason you'd want to come here at first would be to just check that your radio and there's mine. Helltech Tower is actually making a connection and showing up. And uh, that confirms that you're part of the network and you're ready to communicate with everybody else. So there you go, guys. So one of the first things I'm doing is I'm updating the firmware on my Helltech V3. There it is right there. And uh, it is getting an update. There she goes. Almost done. Uh, down here, you will see that my, uh, my Helltech is actually connected to a Wi-Fi access point called Radioactive. And I set this up just especially for this, uh, this demo. But that is my internet access right there. That, uh, that router is connected to the internet. Now we come over here and uh, you see the conversation that is going on here. Now I'm going to start to show you some of the settings here. So let's go over to radio settings, uh, radio configuration. I'm going to show you what needs to be done. First of all, I just want to uh, show my long name is Helltech Tower. You can set that, but my short name is uh, 85CC. That's what they're kind of referring to me on on the um, on the network there. That's what they're saying. Not sure why, but doesn't matter really. Uh, network, come down here and you will see it's connected also to radioactive. And um, yes, the next one we want to look at is Laura. Laura, you want to make sure your region is set to the proper region. I'm United States because Canada does the same frequency as uh, the U.S. Now we go down to MQTT, and this is where the magic happens. Okay, you see the address there, mqtt.mt.gt. Username, uh, MeshDev, and the password for the Canadaverse is large for cats. And uh, there's a few other settings down here. Encryption enabled, they recommend encryption. So I have that on. I noticed some people are not using encryption on that network, but I guess if you want to talk securely, you turn the encryption on. So uh, that's basically it, guys. Uh, that's what will bring you onto this network. And uh, okay. Okay, so we come out of the radio configuration there, and uh, this is the list of users that we are actually uh, connecting with, which is really cool. There I am at the top, the uh, Helltech uh, Tower. Um, you will see next to it, if it says MQTT, that's a connection through the uh, Canadaverse network. But let's just scroll through looking at all these different people here. So many of them, wow. goes on and on and on <laughs> wow gonna have a lot of people to talk to here look at this guys it just goes on and on and on it must be at least more than a hundred people on here wow you'll definitely have people to converse with on here Look at this, guys. Okay, I finally hit the bottom. Now I'm just going to show you on the map here. There we go. Um, there's all the different locations where all these people are located. Clearly, we do have uh, the most around Toronto. But uh, let's go far side of Canada here, and let's go look at... Um, oh, look at this guy, F-A-G. <laughs> what happens if I zoom in there? Oh, wow. Well, I picked a good one. He does not like Trudeau, does he? <laughs> a lot of Canadians don't, don't like Trudeau, but let's go next door and see um, who else we got living in this neighborhood. Actually, who lives next to this guy? Oh, oh, look at that. Trump, Trump lives next door. Okay. <laughs> Let's uh, let's go to the other side of Canada here. Look at that. We got three people in uh, Charlottetown. Yeah, Cornwall repeater. 
Okay, your Problex truck, PEI, Prince Edward Island. Cool, went right across Canada. So that's uh, how that works, really cool. Okay, now that we got that all set up, let's uh, let's do a little test here. I see somebody, uh, he was just uh, giving us a 73. So you hams know what that means. And uh, I'm gonna send this little uh, test here and let's see if uh, we get a response. Oh, look at that. I got a response from KW5 there. Oh, and we're getting another response there. He's copying, Chad also copied. So that goes to show you it's working, guys. Uh, it's pretty cool. There you go. We can talk all across Canada on this. It's pretty cool. So I'm going to send thanks, guys, for the copies because they acknowledge. And uh, let's see if we got anything else coming back. Little uh, check mark there shows uh, went through the cloud. Oh, there we go. He's calling me 85cc. So I just acknowledged to Chad that uh, I uh, am receiving him and I'm just going to let him know that I'm doing this for my YouTube channel. Let's see what he says. Probably gonna want to know my the name of my YouTube channel. <laughs> oh, there we go. Far out and solid. Well, it's working great. Look at all these people responding. I got uh, got a party going on here. This guy says I can't compete with that, and this other guy is there. Uh, Neo saying I hear you all. Pretty good. Okay, let's throw your ball again. You want to throw your ball again? Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Are you ready? Come on, come on. You ready? You ready? Here we go. Okay, ready? Go get it! <laughs> well, it seems I got quite the conversation going on here. Stirred up things, which is kind of cool to see. Now I've got several people talking. Not sure what they're talking about there, but uh, yeah, really cool. Oh, you brought the ball back. Okay, here we go. Okay, you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Here we go. I got the ball. You ready? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Go get the ball. <laughs> Bring back the ball. Come on. Bring it here. Bring it here. Bring it to me. Good girl. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Ready? Ready? Go again. Okay, guys, I hope you found that interesting, but it's time to say goodbye. And uh, there you go, guys. I'll see you over on the Meshtastic Canadaverse. Have yourself a good one.